So look, one problem in saving money is that more than half of American households were living paycheck to paycheck and that's exactly 61% in June 2022. But that's not the problem. Only 30% of Americans have a long-term financial plan which includes savings and investment goals which is just nuts. Now, how did I achieve to save 10k inside of one year with no side hustle? I know this sounds too good to be true, especially when you're not earning a lot of money. But that was also true for me and I have achieved that myself. It's not like you have to hustle in five different side jobs. You have to just follow some simple steps. Set goals and start budgeting like you never did before. All right, you did set up your goals and are also willing to start budgeting because a budget is telling you money where to go instead of wondering where it went. But everything will start to fall apart in case of you miss out on something. Write everything down without any excuse. It could be on some sticky notes which you would stick on things you use every day or just mainstream. Write everything down on your personal notebook or like my personal favorite, creating a easy to use financial Excel sheet where I track everything on my laptop. So I will show you how I use my Excel list in a minute, but for the ones who don't want to wait, Link for my free budgeting sheet in the description below. People set goals and fail. It could be your diet you fail, the wish to buy your first car, your daily habit to start your day with reading a book, or even much more important things like the goal to paying out your credit card debts. But why are people failing? You don't have to be the smartest person in the room to save money, right? Not having a plan for your income may and will lead you to spend your money faster than expected. And that's exactly what I'm talking about because you don't have a clue where your money is going you lose your motivation and get obviously lost because financially it is not working out for you. I was also in a station like that even though I was making a lot of money, I was losing track of my spendings and savings which led sometimes to really hard days in the end of the month because I had no idea what I was doing with my paycheck. Don't forget, the base pillar for your financial success is to write everything down, create more specific goals together with a financial plan and of course, stick to it. You will be 2.5 times more likely to stick to your plan and save money with tracking a budget compared to just spend or save your money without any plan. And my goal for next year is to reduce my full-time job from a 5-day week to a 3-day work week plus reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 on YouTube. And if you can do that, I'm gonna be giving away $3,000 worth of money in products that helped me a lot to become financial free and basically just free money to boost your idea or project. So if you want to also help me out to achieve my goal, then you could subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. That would really help. Look, when you are ready to set your goals and are gonna create and track your budget with the help of the Excel sheet I provide you, plus write everything down all the way to the coffee you buy or the gas you fill in the car, I really don't see a way that you're not gonna reach your goals or lose your motivation during this time of saving money. Don't be the one who set goals on every New Year's Eve to just let it fall apart right after it. The next one will be life changing. Don't buy anything unless you can afford to pay for it twice. So maybe you heard the saying, money does not buy you happiness, but lack of money certainly buys you misery. And I really believe that because it's going to happen. For example, your car can break or you could get some unexpected bills. That's why I really don't like to spend a lot of money on random expensive stuff unless I can pay for it twice. Put your money somewhere where you can get it. Okay, okay, not like that. But seriously, I use myself two spots to put my money in, which basically will earn you free money every month. But before that, you have to make sure of something. Paying off your credit card debts, because the average card holder had around $5,769 in credit card debt. Look, you have to put that in your mind. You will rarely be able to earn money on your saving than you will pay on your borrowings. So, as a rule of thumb, plan to pay off your debts before you start saving. Now, the first one I recommend, which basically is free money, is to getting a monthly paying dividend ETF rather than having the stress with single stock investing and all the stress it comes with. For example, you can get a well diversified ETF and earn monthly dividends on it, while also in the long run, your ETF value climbs up the ladder. So if you want to learn more about ETFs, link in the description. Now, the second one, I really don't understand people who does not take fully advantage of it. And no, it's not boring. If getting free money is boring for you, I really don't know anymore. Invest in your 401k and max it out. <laughs> okay, I brought my real money here. Each time you get your paycheck, for example, $100, a percentage like 10% of your pay is taken out and put in your 401k, which is pre-tax. 
On the other side, your company could also offer a 10% match, which means you will get 10 bucks for free in your 401k account. Yeah, I know, it's magic. So definitely check out how much your company matches and max it out. But don't be worried if you're not a US resident. European countries have also a similar scheme called a lifetime ISA in the UK, for example, or Ristorante in Germany. But whatever it is, just do it. Buying less is great, wanting less is better. All right, the key here is frugal life. You see, also nothing in here. But seriously, I get it. Frugality might not seem as appealing to you because it is hard to adapt. You have to ask yourself the right questions for to choose which level of frugality is the right for you. But I guarantee you, it will change your life. Because frugal living brings all sorts of benefits with it and personally for me, the biggest benefit of it was to reduce financial stress. A recent story found out that 73% of Americans identify money as a major cause of stress in their life. And frugality is a great solution to this stressor because finding simple ways to spend less money doesn't require you to chase more income. Basically, saving money is much easier than trying to earn more. Now, one example for saving money is to not let you influence by big and nice looking grocery stores where you spend historically 10 to 20% more. So check out other grocery stores like Lidl, Food for Less or Walmart rather than going to Whole Paycheck. I mean, Whole Foods Market. Now, spending less for groceries with eating out less, game changer, I promise, because the average American family spends around $3,365 on food away from home. Fair enough, because depending on the restaurant you go to, they are charging about a 300 person markup on items they serve, which is totally fine for me because they have to also make some money. All right, with all that in mind, we can now enter all the data in our budgeting list. As I said, link in the description below where we start with entering our projected income and compare that then with the actual monthly income. On the right side, we can see now all of our projected and actual expenses, which will be automatically gathered from the data below, like our housing costs, entertainment, food, our savings, and a lot more. It is also great to see where you have a difference in a bad or a good way, like myself with groceries. So in the end of the day, you should be able to see your net income after all of your spendings and savings. All right then, now you know what to do to be able to save 10K within one year. Now, let's have a look at a quick breakdown how the savings can look like, but be aware of this. There are plenty of ways to save a ton of money, like quit smoking if you smoke or just cut back down on beer and wine, which would save you hundreds of dollars, but I don't want to list them because I don't want to get hate comments. But seriously, let's have a look at it. Using your own coffee machine at home, $3 a day, and that's just minimum in case you drink just one coffee per day. Just double that in case you drink a couple of coffees per day like I do. Next, cancel all unused subscriptions instead of one, 30 bucks a month or $1 a day. Negotiate your rent or house payment, but don't expect miraculous reductions, but landlords don't want to hassle with changing tenants. $1.8 a day using public transportation or a carpool, whopping $330 a month or $11 a day. Don't cut back all of it, but try to eat out less, $4 a day and bring lunch to work, saving at least $210 a month or seven bucks a day, which brings us to a total saving of $27.80 a day or $834 a month. Multiply that with 12 for the whole year and you will have $10,000 saved. Plain it easy, but let's be creative and let me know your secrets in the comment down below. And yeah, that's everything what you need to know. Just stick to your budget and follow the tips and don't forget to subscribe.